CataractCoach.com, surgeon ergonomics for ocular surgery. This is actually a surprisingly important topic. So let's look at the microscope oculars first. Now, I prefer a slight downward gaze or downward approach. That's the most comfortable for me. Some people like it parallel to the floor. The one I don't like at all is when you're looking up. I think that's straining your eyes, your neck, your head. It's not a good position. So decide what angle you like in the oculars. I suggest a slight downward tilt. Now let's look at the FACO foot pedals. We've got the two foot pedals here. I traditionally have the FACO pedal for the right foot, the microscope on the left foot. You want to have the pedals in front of you. You look down at the oculars as we showed you, at that spe specific angle, adjust it for your comfort. Remember, if you have the oculars more flat or parallel to the ground, then the scope height's gonna change very significantly. And that's that uncomfortable position of looking up. So I like a slight downward tilt. I think that's the most comfortable. And now look, the body's nice and straight and the hands are there, and that's a good position. Now, if the scope is a little bit farther away from you, now you'll have to lean forwards, and that's gonna put strain and stress on your back. So get the patient's eye a little closer to you so that the scope can be closer to you. And then you can have your back straight up and down with a slight tilt here, maybe even a little less than that. That looks a little bit more appropriate. So back nice and straight, your back's perpendicular to the ground, your 90 degree bend here at the elbow joint, and that's a nice comfortable position. Looking at the pedals, again, FACO pedal on the right, the MyScope pedal on the left. I tend to operate like this resident is doing, which is just using my socks. I kick the shoes off and I just use socks to operate. Now look at the focusing tube here on the scope. Now we can have it straight up and down. I like that. I tend to make it perpendicular to the floor of the room. There is an adjustment on the side and you can t t tilt um, the scope and have it more of an angle. Some people like that as well. All of those are reasonable. Obviously, when you're doing surgery in the angle of the eye with a gonio mirror or gonio prism, you have to tilt it even more. But my preference for the central tube of our microscope is to have it perpendicular to the floor. And remember, I also like the patient to have their eye with the iris parallel to the floor. So let's straighten that back out. Get it nice and straight. And there's a, a mark on the side here that tells us when it's perfectly perpendicular to the ground. And we can have that adjusted just so. And that looks great. You want to be very comfortable in the way that you operate. Also, if you have it straight up and down perpendicular, you're going to have a better red reflex. You're going to have a reflection of the light back. This is showing that the focus is in the center. There's a button up at the top here to reset. That'll reset the X, Y, and Z, as well as the zoom. So you want to reset that at the beginning of your case. Now look at the oculars. You need to dial in your appropriate prescription. Now both of your eyes have the same prescription. They should both have the ocular set at zero. So an emetropic person and an emetropic surgeon should have it zero on both. Now if you have a little myopia, you may want to dial that in. So here you can dial in a little bit more myopia shown here on the right ocular, a little less myopia on the left. The key here as well is you want to have this dialed in so that you are in perfect focus on the eye at the same time the camera is in perfect focus. If you're a young surgeon and tend to accommodate too much, you can dial a little minus in here and that'll help absorb that. But make sure the camera is focused the same way. Now positioning here the hands. So there's the patient, iris is parallel to the floor, that's a good position. Setting this up before you do the preparation, before any kind of block, before doing anything. Get the patient in the appropriate position. Now, surgeon should be comfortable first. So the surgeon puts his or her chair at the appropriate height, puts the microscope where, you, you, where he or she wants it, and then bring the patient's entire bed or table up or down in order to have the correct focus. So here we go, feet on the pedals going nicely underneath the bed, that looks great. Surgeon's back's nice and straight, looking slightly down, that looks like it's a good position. There's a 90 degree bend in the arms. Patient's eye is close to the surgeon, so he doesn't have to lean his body forwards. That looks great, and now you can use the control of the bed and bring the patient up or down to get the initial focus. And that is a great start for ergonomics, an important topic when you start to do a ton of surgery. 
want to remind you, check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. I know you love the videos on YouTube with 5,000, 6,000 YouTube subscribers, but also check out our website. The YouTube videos that we host are played on the cataractcoach.com website along with an article and some pictures. And we send out a brand new email every morning here in the U.S. And it can go worldwide at different times of the day to show you exactly what our topic is for the day. A new email has been sent out every single day for the last 500 plus days and counting. Thank you for your support.